Football Friday night is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Stars and strikes. Get away and play. Chevrolet. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Great deals on furniture. See it. Buy it. Take it home today. Nissan. Innovation that excites. Viasat. Providing high-speed internet to those outside the cable zone. Call and get connected today. And Jostens, celebrating moments that matter. Now, the leader in local high school football coverage, WJBF Sports brings you Football Friday Night. Welcome in week five of Football Friday Night. I'm Brendan Robertson alongside Zach Hughes. It was supposed to be the hurricane edition of FFN, but... We kind of got downgraded to Tropical Storm Edition. More That's than right. half of our games canceled this week. We still have a full 30 minutes of highlights. Yes, coming the your games way. got canceled. We don't get canceled, though. No. We still go on a schedule. We have uh, some big time matchups in the Peach State, including the first ever meeting between Evans and Burke County on Game Night Live tonight, plus our top plays of the week. Let's jump in. Aquinas and Lincoln County have met every year since 2000. And while the Red Devils have dominated the series overall, the Fighting Irish reeled off four straight wins from 2013 to 2016 until Lincoln County snapped that skid with a 12-6 win last year. Look out, Hurricane Florent. No, I'm just kidding. That's just, just confetti. It's just confetti. But got to get your gear right. This one big for 1A Region 7, a stacked Region. Irish playing without five starters, including quarterback J.P. Lambert. No problem. Cam Brinson going up top right there. Mr. Welsh, Joseph Welsh coming down with it. And the Irish later in the drive. Go to the sophomores. Tyler Evans takes a big hit, but not before he gets in the end zone. And Aquinas up 7-0. Lincoln County, though, they came to play. The Red Devils went heavy on the ground game. Colby Ferguson listed on their roster as the center. I don't think so. That young man <laughs> can run. Classic. Right. Old center taking the hand yeah. off. Let's go. Up the middle for a 30-yard gain. Later in the drive, guess who? Mr. Ferguson. Doesn't matter what he's listed as. We're tied. We don't need you at center, bud. You That's get in right. the end zone. You score those, those points. Give him six. Tied at seven. Quinn trying to make something happen late in the second quarter. Brinson scrambling. Sometimes you got to throw it away. Maybe trying to do too much here. Picked off by Quardarius Hogan. We go to halftime tied at seven. Opening drive of the third quarter here for Aquinas. Jet sweep again. The sophomore Tyler Evans from 10 yards out. And he gets his way into the end zone. That was huge. You'll see why. Last chance for Lincoln County. Fourth quarter. Fourth down. And they're trying to make something happen. Monquavius levered. Looking around. No. Jaden Blunt sacks him. Jason Shearer was screaming into the megaphone. Aquinas wins 14-7. to If you thought my voice was hoarse, here, James Leonard after beating Lincoln County. Batman. Anytime you can get a win over a great Lincoln County team, you know, it's big. Uh, big for the region standings. Uh, they have a phenomenal football team. Coach Pollock does a great job. A lot of respect for these guys. Um, you know, we got a lot to clean up on offense. You know, we, we almost let that game go because we shot ourselves in the foot on offense. Very proud of the defense. Got to clean, clean up a lot of offense, but very proud of the fight. Uh, Looking forward to a good rest of the season, getting these guys healthy. It means a lot, you know. You I mean you're sitting, sitting good in the region, but you know you got to let this one go quick. We got GMC coming in two weeks, and then a great Washington Wilkes team. So you can't get too high on yourself right now. Yeah, you know Irish four and zero. They're off <laughs> next week for turn action against Georgia Military College. I'm just having a little fun. <laughs> oh, but Coach Leonard. James Leonard, we love that dude. All right, let's move on. After two straight losses to open the season, Jefferson County bounced back. Big win against Butler tonight. The Warriors visiting Josie. They've won six straight over the Eagles. First quarter, Warriors already leading 7-6. to six, And then Jaden Jenkins following his blockers on the QB keeper. 31 yards, touchdown made a 14-6. Next possession, Xavier McGee. There he is. The face mask didn't matter. Touchdown, 21-6. to six. They were up. Move ahead to the second quarter, and the route was on. Jaden Jenkins up the middle for 10 yards, and it was 28-6. to six. Here's how the night went. 
for Josie. Tyreek Woods can't handle the punt. Julius Tremble is there to recover at the six-yard line. A couple plays later, direct snap. Carlton Brown for the touchdown. The Tutty, 35-6. Next possession, you guessed it. More. Desmond More. Beal cuts back left, comes around the edge, and the Warriors roll tonight 56-6. to Zach, your turn. Well, after spending the entire first month of the season on the road, the Thompson Bulldogs were finally back at the Brickyard tonight as they welcome in one of the top teams in the state, Greater Atlanta Christian, for their home opener. The Spartans ranked sixth in Class 3A. They've reached the Final Four five times in the last six seasons, including two trips to the state title game. First quarter, Greater Atlanta Christian with great field position. After a poor Thompson punt, Jake Floyd takes the handoff on a jet sweep, has some space, and he scampers in for a 22-yard touchdown. That gave the Spartans a 7-0 lead. Later in the quarter now, Thompson facing a third and long. Demicus Taylor drops back, steps up, finds Bubba Murray downfield. Huge gain and a Thompson first down. The drive continued into the second quarter. Taylor this time keeps, takes it in for a 7-yard score. That tied the game at 7, but GAC answered right back. Josh Rose this time, play action, finds a wide open Floyd for an easy touchdown, and the Spartans led 14-7. Thompson was forced to punt on its next drive, so GAC with the ball right back, facing a third and long Rose. Who else but Floyd? Check out the one-handed snag. That's cold. Jukes the defender, picks up the first down. GAC in business. And then later in the drive, Tyler Bride punches it in. That made it 21 at 7, and Greater Atlanta Christian rolls 42 14, the final score. 2A, number 9, Washington County took its undefeated record on the road to Swainsboro tonight. First meeting between the schools since 2013. The all time series record tied at 16, and this was a great game to break the tie. First quarter, no score. Swainsboro facing a fourth down. Katie Eumann sets Javon Brown for a 15 yard touchdown. That put the Tigers up 7 0. Later, same score. Swainsboro fake punt, fakes out the camera, fakes out everyone. John Henderson, 45 yards down to the one yard line. And that set up this. Humans this time keeps it himself for the touchdown. Swainsboro led 14 zip. But Washington County responded. Daquan Bloodshot, top five in the state in rushing, finds a crease. He's gone. 55 yard touchdown. That made it 14 7. Second quarter now, same score. Golden Hawks, Malik Hall this time punches it in. That tied it at 14. This game was back and forth all night. Swainsboro ball once more. Humans play action. It's RJ Phillips, 55 yard touchdown. That puts the Tigers up 2014. The Golden Hawks, though, led 21 20 at the half, and it wasn't easy. But Washington County stays perfect, 47 45 the final. Briarwood hosting Glasscock County. First ever meeting between the schools. Second quarter, no score. Bucks appear to be punting on four. Ah, to fake. Dax Reese finds Charles McMichael downfield for a first down and more down to the 10 yard line. But Briarwood would later face fourth down again, and this time not able to cash it in. Oh, got to squeeze that. Glasscock would take over. Panthers now facing second and long. Briarwood's Thomas Wilkerson with the sack lunch on Bradley Broxton for the big loss. It no, would set not. up the Bucks. Do your sack lunch again? Yeah, I got you. First score is Evan Moore scoops up the fumble on the lateral, race into the end zone. And it's 7 0 Buccaneer lead. Late first half, Briarwood driving. Dax Reese. Scampering around the left side, picks up big yardage, sets up a touchdown pass right here to Chapman Moore. He's squeezing that one in the end zone. Buccaneers had a 14-zip halftime lead. They go on to win 35-13 the final. Frederica and Augusta Prep. Augusta Prep still searching for their first win of the season. There's the coin toss. I wonder who won. The Knights <laughs> were getting hot early. We love coin tosses. I don't know. Denver I Anthony. I really don't know. Play action pass finds Jaden Rose Scally. He's open. He's in for six. Knights up six nothing. Cavaliers turn the ball over, so it's right back to Frederica. Anthony hands off to Jay Sean Sheffield on the sweep. He finds an opening. Another six. 13 nothing Knights after the Cavs turned it over again. The Knights never looked back. Denver Anthony. This time to That's Isaiah easy. Jackson. Some blocks and plenty of real estate made it 20 to nothing Knights. Cavaliers get the ball back after the score. Justin Medlings rolls out, finds. Bailey Adams, somewhere behind the referee. One of the top players in the country last week. Yes, right. Makes the move. The sticks. And then the same drive in the red zone. Medlings to Glenn Owen. Good to see Augusta Prep get on the board 28-7, but didn't stop the bleeding. Uh, the Knights got a couple kids going to Auburn. 
they can play. Yeah, that's Isaiah that's Jackson tough. weaving through. Frederica wins tonight, 44 to 13, the final. We're just getting started here on football Friday night, Hurricane Edition. Yeah, coming up, we're heading down to the Bear Den as Burke County hosted Evans on Game Night Live. That's when football Friday night continues. Supporting high school athletics, McDonald's, proud sponsor of football Friday night. 